Okay, so as it turns out, I was having a lot of errors about encryption and the problem actually wasn't uh, related specifically to the ROM. The problem was related to the fact that the drive for the phone was encrypted and so when the ROM would try to boot, it would fail. So, I went ahead and formatted the uh, drive here in uh, Team Win Recovery Project. But for instance, if you're working on something like this on your own, you could do this through Fastboot. And uh, you actually don't need uh, Twerp specifically, especially if you have Fastboot. You could, you know, just flash your partitions there or whatnot. Um, Obviously, if you're building a phone from scratch, it would probably be a good idea to build something like Twerp or uh, Clockwork Mod or whatever first, so that way you could uh, do this sort of thing. Since Twerp was already available for this phone, we decided just to go ahead and start building on the ROM itself. But, so, we will see a difference here in uh, the boot up process when we get it started here. There we go. Reboot system, do not install. Now it's still not 100% successful. Um, we do get a lot further than we did before. Remember before, uh, it actually would get through past this uh, lineage logo and then as it would start to optimize the apps it would immediately crash and essentially now we're just getting to optimize quite a few more apps before it crashes so we're definitely in a step in the right direction now the problem is not encryption and we have to pull a new set of logs and we have a new set of errors that are related to um, uh, a lot of them related to camera issues uh, GPS is not uh, functioning and a few other things like that. So, lots of good things for us to work on here. But I just want to take a minute to show you, there it goes, how it uh, prepares to start and actually seems to do something um, before it crashes. So, definite step in the right direction. It's uh, really easy when you're working on um, custom ROMs and that sort of thing to get frustrated. I'm hoping that's one thing we can show in uh, all of the video series here is that you're going to run into problems and that's okay. If you, if you get frustrated at problems, this probably isn't something you want to do. But if you just accept it as a challenge and then uh, get satisfaction from meeting or surpassing or overcoming those challenges, then this can be a lot of fun. So uh, hopefully that's how you look at this project and, uh, and really get the benefit out of that. There it goes. and then it crashes. So, more work to do.